Hey Blossom, happy April. I hope you guys are all having a great start to the month and start to spring. Um, haven't filmed one of these update videos in a while and there's good reason for that because um, the team is working on a really big, um, exciting new release of Blossom Pro. Um, but we have released, a, we just actually released an update yesterday um, with a few cool features which I wanted to, um, to announce to you guys um, and walk you through, as well as give you a sneak peek of Blossom Pro um, here at the end of the video. Um, so without further ado, there's basically three cool um, new things in the release. Um, the first is sort of, if you look on the top here, you can see for you following and news. So we combined public and for you now that the for you feed um, is more optimized, shows you, of course, as you guys know, um, posts based on the stocks you follow, the people you follow, um, and the topics you follow. But this news widget is sort of um, the introduction of something new to Blossom, which is really exciting. So this is essentially, uh, we're pulling from Yahoo Finance, um, Fortune, uh, Wall, Street, Wall Street Journal, a bunch of other sort of news sources. And it's going to show you basically news sources based on the stocks that you hold and the stocks that are in your watch list. Um, so this is an early feature. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done on it. One of the things you might notice is occasionally you'll see like two of the same article. I'm actually not seeing it here, which is nice, but occasionally you'll see two of the same article. And that's just because different news sources pretty much copy each other and they report on the same thing. So you'll notice it's two different sources, um, but they're essentially an identical article. So we'll be working hard to optimize this. We also have a design where you can see basically which stock um, each um, new source is referring to as well as sort of filter for the different stocks um, in your portfolio. But this is a cool feature uh, for you to start checking your, your daily news um, in the Blossom app and we'll add more abilities to share this news directly uh, in the feed. Um, so this is one of the big things the team has been working on. The other one, which is sort of minor, uh, and I can't test because I don't have any tags, but uh, if someone mentions you in a comment before, we got a lot of feedback that, you know, you'd go to that post, um, let's take Gonzalo's, right, 19 comments. If Gonzalo tags me or tags Ben here, before he would click on that notification and it would just take him to the post. So he'd have to scroll and try and find that comment. It was very annoying. Now, that comment that's in question will get pinned to the top, so it's really easy to find um, that uh, mention um, directly from your notification. So you guys will have seen that as well in the new update. I think we actually released that a week ago, but um, it wasn't worth doing a whole update video just for that. And then the other big one is the learn and earn. As you guys have noticed, we've actually um, gotten a bunch more partners, uh, Harvest, um, we're doing a learn and earn with them for some of their covered call ETFs. Of course, we have uh, you know BMO um, as as a big partner with their ESG ETFs, covered call ETFs. Uh, you know, hope you guys keep doing those. Um, you can earn actually. I think it was like twelve bucks now, or or, or something, maybe, maybe uh, ten bucks or or so in the Blossom app, which is really really cool. Um, and so hope you guys are liking some of those new learn and earns. Um, again, reminder. I mean, we make it obvious. It's sponsored content. We're not trying to hide that fact. Um, helps these companies or ETF providers get a bit more exposure. You get to learn about some new uh, new potential investments, and and uh, um, and so it's a win win. Uh, so that's essentially the high level of the update. So as you can see, a bit of a light update, which you know I haven't made a video like this in a month. You guys may be thinking, you know, why why only this many feature? What what the heck have you guys been working on? Uh, so I'm going to show you guys now a little sneak peek of what that is. Um, which we're excited to launch sort of late April and, and is coming soon, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. I'm just gonna pause this uh, so I can pull it up. All right, so very excited to give you guys a little sneak peek of Blossom Pro. Um, this is essentially, we're releasing this, this um, in late April. It will be a paid feature. It's essentially modeled after like Wealthica or you know stock events really starting to give a lot of power as far as portfolio analytics. So the one thing I want to make really clear is we're not going to do any of this, you know, crazy Twitter stuff where it's like you pay for verification, pay. In fact, all the social features, everything in the app currently, we're not taking any feature that is currently accessible in the app and putting that within Pro. I always hate it when apps do that um, and they put something that you're used to having for free behind a paywall. So everything is net new that will be bundled in Pro and it's all just basically deeper um, portfolio insights for you to manage um, and analyze your um, uh, basically profile portfolio. 
So uh, the, the widgets I'm going to show you are about, we have about half of them. We have a bunch more as well that are, that are coming. Um, the pricing, worth it's going to be a little under 10 bucks a month, um, or there's going to be a big discount if you get it for the year. Um, and it'll also be a great way to support the Blossom app. So one of the things, you know, just to call out nature of a startup is we're currently spending a lot more money than we're making. Like we make a, a bit of money from like the learn and earns, but re we're spending like over five times basically what we're bringing in, which is very common um, for a startup. And I'm going to make a whole video about this. But basically, we've raised a bunch of money from investors with the promise of, hey, you know, we have the future potential to build this into into a, a growing business. But in the current stage, you know, we're, we're spending a lot more money on product development on making the app great um, for you guys than it is we're bringing in. So this basically is going to help us, you know, keep the lights on, uh, extend, you know, how, how, how far we can go, how far we can build uh, basically the length of, of Blossom without having to continually rely on raising more and more investor money. Um, so it'll be a great way to support the team and support the app if, if you do enjoy, um, enjoy what, uh, what we've built here. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'll give you a little sneak peek of some of the widgets, which are really exciting. So a couple ones here, we got the monthly dividend widget. This is for my own portfolio. I don't have a ton of dividend um, dividends, as you can see. Um, but yeah, you can see basically, you know, January, I made like 21 cents. So again, really not. I had a good good month in March here, um, uh, $11.90. Um, and that basically will give you, you know, you can filter it as well for, for let's look at 2023. I can see all of the dividends I made uh, in that month. Um, so similar to some of the different widgets you might see on stock events, but really I know a lot of you guys love your dividends. And so a lot of the features are, are, are focused on that, you know, tracking your dividends. And we have a, a dividend goal tracker as well that we're going to add. This one I think is really cool. This is one of my favorite ones is you can see the breakdown of your dividend contributors. So you can see I'm making like 70 bucks annually um, on my dividends. 62% of that is coming from VFE. I actually didn't even realize one of the things Activision pays me a dividend. 9% nine, nine of my dividend is coming from um, Activision, which, which I didn't realize. Um, but that's another cool one. And you can filter it for monthly, um, daily, even hourly. My hourly, I'm making less than one cent. If that, I think we're probably rounding up there. Um, and... Another one here, which I'll show you guys, is the sector widget. Um, so you can see basically how your sectors compare with the Blossom uh, community. So I hold, you know, a lot of technology, a lot of communication services, um, whereas, you know, unsurprisingly, Blossom really heavily in financials. We love our Canadian banks um, versus I don't, I don't currently hold any, any financials. I should probably get on that, pick up some TV. Um, and one of the cool things that we're doing with this as well, which not a lot of other places do, is the ETFs, the sector allocation in the ETF like VFE will also be broken down in your sector. So for instance, if VFE is, you know, 50% utilities, 50% real estate, obviously that's not true, but that will also be included in the sectors. Um, so these ones still aren't fully done if you're noticing any, any issues with it. Um, you can also look cyclical, defensive, sensitive, those, those sort of common common categories. This is a, a little under half of the widgets. I think we have six to eight widgets that we're releasing as part of Pro, and it'll also be something that will continually make better and better and better. Right now, we're planning to release late April. There's going to be like a one-week free trial, so everyone can try it out for free. Um, and then, if, again, if you want to support the Blossom app, it'll be a great way um, to support us by, by sort of signing up for, for Pro. But none of the features that you guys should have already know and love are going to be included in that. It'll all be net new, sort of cool portfolio analysis and widget features. Once that's done, we have some really excited stuff in store for um, for March. Um, or sorry, uh, April, May. Sorry, May and June. We're already past March. May and June, uh, like bookmarking, sharing things off the app. Um, dark mode, I think, is is in there, uh, which which I know a lot of you guys um, are eager for. So, lots of really cool stuff in the works. Um, and so if you guys stuck around to the end of this video, thank you. Thank you all for being part of the Blossom community. We just hit 15,000 members um, the other week. Uh, and so really, really exciting to see all the new faces as well in the app. Um, and I hope you all have a great month of April. Uh, and I look forward to welcoming and releasing uh, Pro to, to all you guys uh, later in the month. Cheers.